how's it going? And in this video, we are going to be installing a Z06 style wing for the C8. Look at that, the bumper is now off. We will see you in the next cut. Okay, so quick update, and this is really hard, so hopefully it'll be really re rewarding. We got the whole bumper off, finally. The car is jacked up, but all the wheels are on. This bumper is off, we just gotta now unscrew the wing, screw the new wing on, put the support bracket in, screw two holes in the bumper to secure the support bracket, and then put it all back together. And then we'll finally be done. <laughs> All right, I'll get you guys an update Wait, when we're closer. I am now his fiance. Yes, this is my fiance on camera. No longer just my girlfriend. Okay, I'll give you guys an update in a minute. So that is the new Z06 style spoiler on the Corvette. I think it looks awesome. There are two small new things that we added on. You definitely see them. These little fins right here. So with the stock wing, um, and this is a Z51. So with the stock Z51 wing, you can see it sitting right there. It's four posts. So there are two holes here where it will normally go into, one, two, and then we've got two other here. So originally with the company where you get the wing from, they can ship you um, basically like color replacements for this, and you basically put a little color plate on, they color match it to your car, and it fits on it. Um, I liked how it looked, but I feel like it would look just somewhat tacky, <clears throat> and it just wasn't super flush. So I got these little, these little wings. I think they look totally fine it kind of adds more flair to the car anyway and it, i think it looks good i just like how everything is basically contrasted so i really like how this looks like you can get this wing in carbon fiber like visible carbon but none of my other car none of the, the rest of the car is not in carbon fiber so you know right now we've got carbon flash lit carbon flash there carbon flash kind of on the mirrors we got the carbon flash side skirts the door panels black we got the black um, roof, which I think looks so good, um, and for the convertible, this looks awesome, and, and then this is black now, so it kind of all just fits, and I really like, you can, it looks really purposefully done, at least I hope to you guys it does, because to me, I think this looks, this looks awesome, um, and then with all the actual mods that are on the car, it's, I mean, it's basically a Z06, so I saw a video come out the other day where it was a uh, stock Stingray, it wasn't Z51, at least I don't think so, versus a Z06, and it was pretty, it was pretty close. Like the stock Stingray, it has more horsepower than the Z06 does because the flat plane crank of the Z06 just it can't produce as much torque um, as the cross plane crank engine does. This focus is going everywhere, um, but and it, it stayed up. And sometimes this Stingray actually beat the Z06 off the line and even up to 60 um just because of the torque and this one i think weighs a little bit lighter i'm not 100 percent sure on that um the z06 really caught up to it at highway speeds but now with the mods with the headers and all that stuff it really stayed and it i think this will be neck and neck and identical with the z06 if not potentially a bit faster i'm not sure but um it's i really love it let me show you kind of everything that we've done one last time and then we should be good for a while now let me kind of roll these down and kind of give you guys a tour real quick of everything that's been done with the car that's not stock so 2020 c8 z51 sebring orange we've got the lip right here in carbon flash like i said we've got the side skirts which do not come in stock and i really like how these look we obviously have the new wing and those two little lips 
And then on the inside of the car, we've got little carbon fiber pieces of trim. And then now let's move to the actual internal. Okay, now for the inside, actual internal modifications. Yep. We've got the clear engine cover, so this is a convertible, and usually this is not clear. Usually this is actually covered with this panel right here, which you see, so it's usually black, and you can't, you can't even see inside there normally. But I got the clear engine cover, which is awesome. You can actually see the engine in there now, carbon fiber engine cover itself. American Racing Headers. Cold air intake, new air box, new cold, uh, new air filter, ported manifold, ported intake manifold, and a ported throttle body. And I think, I think that's everything. And everything works perfectly with this wing. Um, just lowering this back down again. Everything works, and what's great is. This will still pop. You got plenty of clearance. You can still use your trunk, and it all works exactly how it should, which is really good. So that's awesome. I'm really glad that that all works. But yeah, I think I'm really happy with the the end design here. So I'm gonna end it off just with a quick cold start, and I'll see you guys in just a second. Yeah, that is basically everything that we got right now. It's basically the Z06, almost there. I think it's been a lot of fun to do this. Look at how crazy this is on the inside now, on the rear view camera. Look at all that downforce. <laughs> it's so cool. You can see it from the back, too. So let's turn this off. And that's basically everything with the car. I am really happy with it. You know, I think. Like, if you're thinking about getting one of these, say you're thinking about getting a Z06, I mean, if you can really comfortably afford a Z06, I mean, if you want to, you can get one. I think it depends on what you're using it for. Like, if you're going to be going to the track a lot, get the Z06, because it's a track car. It's a true track car. If you're not, if you're going to be more dailying it, like, this is my daily driver. I'm really happy with the CA. It's fully loaded, 3LT Z51. The magnetic ride control is great. You get that in the Z06. I've heard it's a bit bumpier um, in the Z06 than in the Stingray. But I'm really happy with it. And what's great is you can mod it. Sure, it's not like something crazy where you can tune it. I mean, the Z06, you can't even tune it. But you can't tune it. And you can mod the Z06 as well and get some headers or get a new exhaust or straight pipe it or turbo it if you wanted to. But I think this is great because it's just a lot more attainable. You're not going to pay ridiculous over sticker prices. And there's so much you can do with it. Um, like, I think just getting the wing alone has made the car look so much more aggressive. Um, and it's really stable, too. I haven't really had any problems. I got the wing. And the, that's what I want to talk about next. Let's, let's talk about next, like, where I got the wing from, what it was like installing it, and what you should expect if you do want one. I haven't. There's a good chunk of videos out there about installing a wing, like installing the high wing. But... There's a couple of videos on this one, but not as many as I would have liked. Um, my fiance and I installed this one together, and we wish there was more videos out there of it. So I want to give you just as much info as I can, just so if you choose to get one and install it, you kind of know what you're in for. Um, so the wing itself is from Sagala Designs. Um, just go on Instagram, find their website. Just Sagala Designs is the name of the company that actually produces the wing. Trying to get some better focus here. So I'm going to show you guys what. So Sagala Designs is the company that makes the wing. Let me talk about the time frame and how long it took and kind of the general process. So the process to install the wing is, and whether you're doing a two-post option or a four-post, 
I chose two posts just because it looks exactly like the Z06 and I really love how it's floating there. Um, for this, the process is basically take the entire rear bumper off, take off your current wing. So if you have like a Z51 wing, take that off. Or if you don't have a wing, you're going to need to drill some holes. I don't have to drill any holes because I have a Z51 wing, but you take the bumper off, take the old wing off, install a support bracket because there's actually a full support bracket that supports this wing at high speeds. And it makes it so it, it, it is very stable and it really just doesn't move much, if at all, there's going to be flex there. It's it's a wing, right? I mean, on any wing, you're going to get some, you know, flexing or whatnot, but it's nothing, it's nothing crazy. I think it's all fine. It's very well supported. I messed with the wing a lot and it's, it's very stable. It's a strong piece of equipment. You take the bumper off, you install that bracket, you put it up. Sagala will have better videos on actually installing the bracket itself. But personally, from experience, um, you're going to need a seven millimeter um, ratchet, both a deep socket. So a seven millimeter socket, both in deep socket and normal, 10 millimeter socket, both in deep and normal. Um, you're gonna need some seven millimeter screws and Torx bed screws. Um, with all of it said and done, just the hardest part is actually putting the bumper back on, but it, it's a lot of work. When you first do the bumper, it is really nerve wracking, taking the bumper off, uh, keeping it off, putting it back on and all this stuff. So. It's a real big pain um, actually doing it. Come here. I'm gonna ask Ashlyn now what she recommends if she was installing it for the first time. What do you? What did you think? Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I told them that it's okay to do it, but you just gotta know what you're getting yourself into. Um, three people would be better than two, especially near the end because your arms get really tired from yeah, pointing so, everything up. Yeah. Um, I'm not done. <laughs> Um, and then watch the unlisted video. Yeah, Sagala has an unlisted video. I'll probably just put the link below. I don't know if they want me to do that. But no. ask them for the link. Ask them for the, all the video resources that they have. And maybe I'll push them to, to make it live. I won't post it below. Just but, DM them on Instagram and say, Hi, I heard there's an unlisted video. Can I have it? Yeah, if you're going to do it, even if you take it to a shop, because most shops are afraid to take the bumper off and it's their first time doing it. So I think you can do it at home if you want. If you take it to a shop, maybe expect it to be there for a week while they figure it out and you don't have to worry about it. I mean, Can you it, tell them about having to drill a hole? Um, so if you, have the Z50, if you don't have the wing, you have to drill holes. Okay. If you do have a Z51 wing, there are holes there, but we had to make them a little bit bigger. The ones for the middle post. Yeah, the ones for the two posts in the wing, just to make it all fit. I think um, it was, I don't even know what drill bit. We just kept on doing it until. Yeah, I just used the drill bit that we got. I think it was a Yeah, you need millimeter. to do the one for the wings, and you'll need to do. For the side. The bracket ones. Yeah. Um, and that unlisted video shows how to get the bracket in properly. Yeah. That's That was probably, like, looking back on it, it was really hard taking the bumper on and off and, and actually getting the wing to fit on the bumper. But putting the bumper back on, there's a really specific way to lean the bracket on and clip it in. You have to like fit it in this way first and then push in to actually get it working. Yeah, but there's basically like two wings that go against like flat on flat against like yeah. the bayer bumper or yeah, the back of the bumper, car. Yeah. And the flat goes on flat and you have to put like the little wings in and then yeah. the top of it. Yeah. Um, do it when you are fed. Do it when it's not freezing. <laughs> and... Don't be tired. Like, take breaks. I think if I were to start over again, I would take one full day just to remove the bumper. Then no, stop. I would take a full day to remove the bumper and get everything ready for the wing and maybe put the wing on. But then at that point, you go to, can't Yeah, go to bed and sleep and then eat and then wake up. And then the next day, if you haven't put the wing on the bumper, put the wing and the bracket on the bumper and then go to sleep again. <laughs> Don't do anything. No. Yes, go to sleep again and then wake up the next day and then actually put the bumper on. Yeah, the bumper putting on after doing everything, you're just tired. Yeah, you're so tired. If you, it's heavy. Yeah. It's really heavy with yeah. this new wing. The old Z51 wing, wing, Z51 wing is... I thought it was heavy. No, yeah. it's not. I mean, it's really easy to like pick up and it's not very heavy. But the, Yeah, I know. <laughs> that one with the bumper and everything is really heavy. I'm going to have like shoulders of like steel. Yeah. When I and it's nerve-wracking. Like the first time you do it, you don't know what goes where. You don't know... You don't, you don't really know what to know. So you think you're breaking it. You think you're breaking it, but you're not. 
There's like creaks and There's cracks. There's creaks and cracks. Things will crack. It's crazy. So, but you can do it. You have to jack up the car. We only jacked up the passenger side to get in. We can go inside now. So I think that's basically everything with it. She was the determining factor if we could do it or not. Yeah, she helped the second Yesterday, day. she helped all day. She sat outside. She worked at things. And just look at the, look at the weanness. <laughs> Can we put a sticker for it on the car? <laughs> That'd be funny. Like a detailed one. Yeah. So it was really, if you're going to do it, you can do it at home. It is really difficult. Make sure you have the right tools. And I told them what tools to get already. The deep, so all the sockets and stuff. You need time, you need patience. You need yeah. to not hate the person you're doing it with. Yeah. It just takes time. And I think you could drop it off at a shop and just not worry about it. But if you're handy and you want to be working on your car and you could see it as being kind of fun. We're not handy. Now we are. We just took apart a whole... A hundred thousand dollar car bumper. Yeah, she is. So I I think if you're okay with doing it by yourself, I think you totally can and that's fine. But if you want to take it somewhere, that's fine as well. I would just expect it to be gone for at least a week because if I were them, I would tell them like take breaks. Sagala says you can do it in an hour and I'm sure you can. They can do it. Yeah, they can do it in an hour. And I'm sure like if we really wanted to, if we were timed and we have all our tools laid out and everything was perfect, we could if we really wanted to. But, I mean, you'll kill yourself trying to do it. So, the <laughs> wing isn't that important. So, that's all I got. I'm really happy with the results. Um, and I will probably get some more shots of it. But that's everything I got for this video. If you guys like the wing, let me know. Um, be sure to like and subscribe and comment if you did like it. If you didn't like it, um, we got it in carbon flash. I think I mentioned this earlier. You can also get it in visible carbon fiber or paint matched. Um, I like how mine, I liked how it turned out. Let me know what you guys think and let me know what other content you want to see with the C8 because now I think I've maxed out the mods that I want to do with it and I'm just going to let it sit for a while and enjoy it. So that's all I got. Let me know if you guys need or let me know if you guys want to see anything else on the C8 and I will see you guys in the next video.